The following scenarios presented in a paediatric ward during a ward round are intended to show the strong benefits of good patient-staff relationships. The emphasis is placed on positive communication and engagement and highlights the benefits of shared planning and the care of the patient. Good morning, my name is Dr Kane, I'm the paediatrician and uh, this is my paediatric team. Okay, we're just doing the handover, we just, uh, we've just had handover, sorry, and we're just doing the um, ward round. Okay, Amanda. So this is Dora. Story? She's a 12-year-old admitted via ED last night for treatment for pneumonia. Mm -hmm. That's her mom. Mm -hmm. Hi. She has an undiagnosed neurological condition, leaving her with a chronic lung disease with bronchiectasis. As such, due to chronic hyperventilation, she's on home oxygen at 0.5 liters per minute. She has global developmental delay and is nonverbal. Mm -hmm. um, she gets recurrent pneumonias. Last one was four months ago. Admitted here, but not under your care. Oh, okay. She's never been to PICU. Um, recent RT symptoms, and last night had an episode of cyanosis. That's when her mom called the ambulance. On admission, she was tachypneic, had a stats of 88% unusual baseline oxygen, increased to 94 on two liters via nasal prongs, with a moderate increase uh, work of breathing. She was febrile to 38 and tachycardic to 120, but cap, cap refill was good. Chest x-ray showed a right middle lobe consolidation. We started ampicillin IV, and she's actually looking a lot better. Cute score is one due to the oxygen requirement. So the plan today is to continue IV antibiotics and try and wean off that oxygen. Okay, so looking at her orbs, these actually look pretty good, yeah. Um, uh, Rebecca, could you organise some chest physio for her? Okay, okay, and um, that's going to be fixed up this morning. Okay, um, look, things sound pretty good. Uh, looks like we've been through this before, she's done it before, so we'll just get her some physio and uh, hopefully we'll have her out of here soon. Any questions? Um, oh, great, thanks, see ya. Good morning, my name's Lisa, I'm one of the paediatricians. Morning Dora, how are you today? Hi Lisa, Dora's non-verbal but she can hear everything. Oh okay, and you're her mum Carolyn? Yes. Okay, yes. Um, we have here Dr Amanda, she's the peds reg, Hi. and Dr Rebecca, she's the peds intern. Okay, Hi. and they'll be looking after you today. Thank you. Okay, now um, we're just going to run through, we've had a brief handover, but Amanda's just going to run through Dora's story for okay. me. So this is Dora. She's a 12-year-old admitted last night through the ED for uh -huh. treatment for pneumonia. She has an, under, an undiagnosed neurological condition which leaves her with chronic lung disease. So she's on home oxygen at 0.5 liters per minute um, due to the chronic bronchiectasis. She has a global developmental today, delay and is nonverbal. Um, Caroline is her main care. So Dora gets recurrent pneumonias. Her last one was four months ago. She was admitted here but not directly under your care. Okay. She's never been to the pediatric ICU. Um, she's had two days of a runny nose and a cough. Last night she had a cyanotic episode after a cough. Um, that's when Caroline called the ambulance. Okay. Yeah, that that was must have been quite scary. Yeah, it was frightening. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll just hear a little bit more of the story. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So on arrival, she was tachypneic, starting at 88% on her normal oxygen. Mm -hmm. She increased up to 94 on two liters. Um, with a moderate increased work of breathing. She was febrile to 38, tachycardic to 120, but she had good cap refill. Um, chest x-ray showed a, a right middle lobe consolidation. Okay. So we started her on IV ampicillin, and she's actually looking a lot better. She is, yeah. So her acute score is one for that ongoing oxygen requirement, but the plan today is to keep going with the antibiotics and try and wean that oxygen as we can. Yeah. Well, Looking at her observations here, the numbers do look as though they're improving. Now, Carolyn, did you follow all that? Yes, yeah. thank you. Is there anything you need to add in? Um, I was just a bit concerned when she was at home, we were doing the physio, chest physio, and okay. she actually changed colour to blue on me. Oh, she first went a bit pink, red, like struggling, and then went blue for okay. a time and had all this raspy sound inside. Okay. And look, did she go limp or stop breathing at all during no, this time? No. Okay. And um, what happened next? I actually rolled her on a side and um, oh. she had a big cough and 
like cleared it. Yes. Yeah. Good. Um, just um, not sure. And has this happened before or no, since? No, not no. at all. No. Okay. Um, now, look, it sounds like when you get a chest infection, you make more phlegm, okay, and there's more stuff in your chest. And with coughing that up, and the physio helps that cough bring the stuff up, but it sounds like it's just got stuck at her, um, up in her, at uh, the top of the windpipe. Mm -hmm. So, um, and basically what it does is it often makes them choke. That's what it sounds like she was choking, but did I cause that with the chest no, physio? No, it's not the physio causing oh, that. Okay. The mucus is, the increased mucus is there, mm -hmm. and it does need to come up. Um, the physio is very important for her recovery. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is probably look at getting the, our um, physio from the hospital here mm -hmm. to come along okay. and go through your physio technique but also tell you the techniques to use if this happens again at home. Oh, I'd like that, okay. thank you. So, yes. um, now, do you have any other questions or worries? Um, just whatever happens again, like before the physio comes. Oh, so. okay. Um, there's a yellow button on the wall. Oh, okay. That's the staff assist. If you press that, the nursing staff will come in immediately mm -hmm. and they know exactly what to do if it's happening oh, again. Thank you. So they'll be able to look after you. We don't have to worry. Okay. Thanks. Now, are there any other worries about? No, about? thank you. Okay. Thank you. So, Rebecca, if you could organise for the physios to come today. Yes. And Amanda and uh, Rebecca, if you could organise to pop in and see Dora a little bit later today and just check on how she's going. And just let the nursing staff know that we've asked for the physio to come. Yes. And uh, that uh, we just need to watch her with her um, uh, cough and her secretions. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time, Carolyn. Thank see you, Lisa. Thank Bye. You. Bye. Bye.